Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and I need today's tutorial on SPACI. We learn about name entity recognition or detection. So what is name entity recognition? Name entity recognition is trying to recognize entities inside a test or a sentence. So you are trying to recognize real world objects or, or like nouns or nouns, right? Relevant nouns which are usually seen as people, places or organization inside a test. So it's trying to classify a test into predefined categories or real world objects. So let, let's see how it is. So first of all, the usefulness of this or the use case of this is it is usually used when you are trying to classify or categorize content by getting the relevant text. And especially people who are working in the news agencies, right? And then it makes it their work easier by they have a lot of articles with name entity recognition able to classify all the documents based on the people, the places and organizations making their work easier. The same way it can also be used to improve search algorithms and then also to be able to help build content recommendations since you have to identify entities in a test, you be able to put them all together and then make it easier to be able to retrieve them, right? So now let's see an example. It is quite simple. So we start our spacey, import spacey and then initialize you create an NLP object. So after that, let's give it a simple the sentence that we have. This is not simple anyway. So a simple wiki test. So let's create NLP, a normal object. So perfect. So this is a sentence. The sentence is that by 2020, the telecom company Orange will, re will, will relocate <laughs> will relocate from Turkey to Orange County in the US. Close to apple it will cost them about so, two million dollars now let's try to analyze the sentence and extract all the entities from this so it's going to be forward in wiki test right wiki test dot entity that's what you are doing so entity and the name recognizer so entity we go with print where dot test for our tokens and then where dot label if you go it like that it's going to give us the hash value so that is it's just going to extract all the entities inside it recognize them accordingly but we want the string of the represent, representation right <laughs> okay so you see that 2020 is a date which is actually true turkey is a gpu so like which is what does gpu you don't understand so you just go with spacey dot explain then you just go with GPE. You can tell us that countries, cities, and state are the geopolitical environment, right? So, countries, cities, and state. So, it's able to extract that this tech here is not the chicken. It's not, <laughs> it's not the part of a chicken or the, 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 the animal, the bird chicken, but it's rather a country. Orange County is not orange like the fruit, but it's rather a GPE. That is a geopolitical political environment or a country or city or state us2 is also so it's able to identify all the entities and and classify them accordingly so this works this thing makes your work quite easier so there's one nice thing about this you can also be able to plot this one with from you're going to plot it in a nice way to see it it's quite simple so it's going to be from spacey import this place right this place perfect so from from that just going to display c dot render because we are running it inside our Jupyter notebook if it was in any ede ide or the normal repo it's just going to be safe right but because this one is inside a, or an already saving browser you just go to render then we're going to pass in our Send it that you want to analyze a wiki test, right? Then the style you're going to choose is you're going to choose as the style is going to be ENT, which is going to be for our entity. So the next thing, and you go with Jupyter, it's called true. So perfect. Let's analyze and see. Now you see that that's analyzed perfectly, which is quite simple and quite easier. So 2020 is a date. The telecom uh, relocate Turkey is. It's a country, Orange County is also a country, 
or geopolitical environment gpe i don't know what the e stands for anyway so us is gpe apple is an organization but it's not a food techie is not an animal and the twin dollars is money so it's very very easy and it's very very powerful okay now let's see another sentence that we can also do i have another sentence here right which is going to be a sentence of which i took from wikipedia about the nostalgia so you can just analyze the same thing and when you go through it with this render stuff you can be able to use the same render to analyze this test and then it's going to tell us which is which and then which which of them is an is the right entity perfectly so let's see so let's call it wiki test 2 and if you analyze it perfect so it's able to tell us that from the center we had Lenos Benedict Tovar, right? It's a person which is quite interesting. Finnish is a North American uh it is North America, right? I think no not I don't know what this means, but you can just check for it with spacey. And just check that's how nice it is. If you don't know you just dot cc dot explain and ORP then nationalities or religious or political groups which is quite nice then american software engineer who is a creator blah 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 Linux. Yeah, almost the same spelling but this is a person this is an organization which is quite interesting and android here is a gpe i don't know why android is a gpe but i think that is how you see it it's not always correct but at, at least most of them is actually true so that's one way of using this name entity recognition inside spacey there is one thing that you can also do sometimes can just create something that is quite easy it's able to use logic right to be able to do it so let's give it a simple example so let's call it as my es let's call it a different example so doc one and we're going to call it as nlp i'm going to use something quite simple for you to know so i'm going to give it a company like facebook facebook and then explosion ai the one that created this two explosion dot ai right and then let's use my the place i work you can take this example are uh, all great companies right they are all let's say, internet companies companies let's make it like that it's just an example so if you analyze this test with this thing you can just use this one to analyze it it's going to be able to recognize some of them and then give us the right entity of it so doc one perfect see that you to recognize that facebook's an organization jcaris tech is also an organization i don't know why this one they give us but let's make it like this explosion let's try it and see whether it will be able to recognize it <laughs> i'm surprised not recognizing it <laughs> okay let's go with this and let's see okay perfect so it's now it's now it's able to recognize that this is an organization explosion ai is an organization and jkrs tech is also an organization which is quite interesting so thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any question or contribution and just put inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit please don't forget to subscribe stay blessed